Okay, so I'm Kaylee. I'm a senior at Bellevue East. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> um, this is my poem on my days off. On my days off, I lay silently in bed, stare blankly at the ceiling till I get enough energy to curl myself up into a ball. Leftover tears from last night, silent cries still dripping from my blue eyes, thinking of everything, wishing for nothing. My thoughts fill with hopeless rot and the dead carnage of my once vivacious happiness. The funny thing is, when I say once, I mean five minutes ago, when the sky wasn't falling and I could still laugh. But, you know, some days I don't even get that far. Some days I don't even have the energy to do anything. Even after hours of staring blankly into space, it's hard to get out of bed. The floor is so far away and all my nightmares are filled with falling, you know? I'll spend hours just laying there in the same position I awoke. Eyes closed, imagining a different life, a better one where friends didn't carry knives in their back pockets and the voices in my head would stop shouting, you know? It's kind of sad that someone like me, who has so many people willing to listen, would be trying to dream of something better. But I have my reasons. I can't say whether they're good ones or not, but I'm tired of breaking everything I touch. Everyone look, I look at seems so afraid of me. I'm not sure if it's my own fear reflecting in their eyes, and I, or am I really that monster? So I'm scared, you know? In my dreams, the one I love smiles at me every day. It's something I never thought I'd feel for someone, but his smile sends shivers down my spine and giggles leaping out of my throat. He's amazing. I'm not sure if he knows that. I kind of love him. I kind of hate this feeling. In a different world, I wouldn't. You see, my mind drops to thoughts of days with my grandpa, long nights laughing with my best friend. I use quotations because I'm not sure if she ever considered me the same. On my days off, my mind wanders to bridges burn, and, the, and I feel nothing but guilt, thinking maybe... I don't know how to stop, stop these thoughts from killing me, and I know I would stay in bed on my days off because, you see, depression was my friend. She talked to me, voice always soft, whispers filled with regret. She told me not to be so weak. Crying wasn't attractive. Hold your tears, paint over them with a smile. It's much prettier, I've heard. When I was too tired to move, she was there. When I couldn't find the energy to speak, she was there, an ever-looming presence in the back of my mind. I can tell, not because I can remember it, but because when I woke up in a daze, I'd leave my room to find chocolate milk, half open, half empty. I know, it's stupid. She leaves it on the counter. And when my mom asks me how it got there, I tell her I don't know. It's a thought that counts, you know? But sometimes I can't tell if it's just a joke, if she just forgot, if she just was too tired to open the fridge. I never understood. And sometimes in my dreams, I can hear her crying. You see, on my days off, she lay by my side. She's heavy on my back. She doesn't whisper to me anymore. Just yells and screams and cries. She doesn't bring me chocolate milk. All she does is lay there, curling, curled in a ball, crying in my ear. On our days off, she tells me she just wants to stay in bed. And sometimes I do too.